sockets what are sockets let us understand a scenario we have two systems one in another country one in your country now these two systems want to communicate want to send and receive so there is a service assume that this left system has some service say google chrome on other system also google chrome there is one more service say some file transfer service here also some fi file transfer service now there are certain services or application which are running on this system so there are not two three there are multiple you run at the same time okay these are applications and these are services now what will happen every system on the internet on the network they have a specific ip very unique ip address so left right both will have some ip one is on country 1 the other is in country 2 now let us have have a scenario that the first system is sending some packet it has source ip it has destination ip address ip address is a unique id now it is uh, sending it now it will go reach the second system but when it reaches the second system there is a conflict that it has come to the exact ip but it is intended for which service which application now this is the conflict so the conflict resolution is done by sockets it is done by sockets i'll give you one more example see this is your house and there is another house which is in another country you are sending a letter you are sending a letter you have given the address of that house now in this house there are certain people living but you haven't written the name so it has reached the house because you have written the address which is the ip address but you have not written the name so you have to have a name so that it reaches a particular person for that ip should be there but for that name you need to have a port number you also need to have a port number to uniquely identify the service or the application for which this data is intended to so that it reaches directly okay so ip and port number combined along with certain protocol this is sockets for example ftp has 21 so if this 21 is fixed with that ip it will directly go to the file transfer okay berkeley sockets we call them as sockets these are universally known as sockets it's an abstraction what is an abstraction so you can call it as an api if you want to send a gift you put a gift and you have a wrapper you have a box so this covering is abstraction is the abstraction so this is a generic access generic means it's not fixed to any any server any particular company or proprietary that is inter process communication services can be done it can be ip access px apple talk tcp ip any it's for every every kind of inter process communication services generic uh, the standard api for networking it is sockets is standard api for networking so we as i indicated earlier there are two applications they want to communicate so we have a socket on both the sides and then this is how the communication goes through tcp ip if you are using this tcp ip we have a router in between and this these are the channel things which are taken care sockets these sockets are uniquely identified by two plus one thing these two are ip and port number along with this the third one is the communication what protocols are going to be used for example if you want a connection oriented service you want to have a connection less service so communication oriented tcp there are two types of tcp ip sockets tcp is udp they have different stream and datagram so we have two types of tcp ip sockets the first is stream sockets and it's like a river stream so it has to have some path so it uses tcp it provides reliable byte stream service that means the data or the packet is being sent if it is missing then the acknowledgement will come you can send it again still reliable byte stream service 
when it comes to UDP, user datagram protocol, datagram sockets, it provides best effort, a best effort datagram service. The packet is sending. If it doesn't go, it will try its best effort. If it doesn't go, it will be dropped. And the size is also fixed. As you see here, the message is up to 65500 bytes. Right? Now, this message is, the size is there. So, just understand IP port number plus we have TCP IP. Now, the socket, the earlier traditional Unix input output facilities, it is, socket is extending that. So, it is basically a file descriptor only. The programmers know what I am talk, talking about, file descriptor. So, it is a table for, for file descriptor for network communication it is. So, we have a table in this we have different internal data structure for file 1. So, you have a family which covers what kind of communication you want, TCP, etc. You what TCP, UDP, you give SOC stream, etc. Then you have the IP port number for the source, IP port number for the destination. So, basically we are extending the read and write system calls. We are extending the read and write system for system calls. So, whenever you are using sockets, you ought to have certain procedures. We have certain procedures and what do you use for Windows or in Unix or Linux socket. This is a function. It creates a new communication endpoint. Bind means it attach a local address to a socket. This is a binding. Socket then binding. Listening means announcing willingness to agreement to accept connections. So, server does that. It listens. It wait, it wait for the things to come. Accept means it is accepted. Now it will block caller until a connection request arrives. So it is accepted somewhere. Correct means it actively attempt to establish a question, a connection. Actively attempt to establish a connection. Send and receive means sending the data over the connection. Receiving the data for connection. Close means releasing the connection. Releasing the connection. Close. So what do we saw? Socket is an interface between an application process and the transport layer. Application process now can send and receive messages to and from another application process. As I said, local or remote via what? A socket. A socket. So, application process, one point, second point can send and receive data. Different applications can do this. It involves the transport layer and there is an interface which is the socket in between. So, if you talk about the earlier thing in Unix jargon, socket is simply, simply a file descriptor. That is, that has to be very clear. It's just a file descriptor. It's an integer. An integer is associated when you open a file. So, it's a file descriptor. You open a file, F open like this. So, type of sockets, internet sockets, Unix sockets, X.25 sockets. Internet sockets are characterized by if you take IPv4, IP address, IP address and port number, IP4 byte, IPv4. And port number 2 bytes. Port number 2 bytes. So, this is all about sockets. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.